How's it going, guys? I am back using the area key with the roulette calculator step system. I've been tracking this dealer and it's looking pretty promising. Depth of 10011101000000101. Currently on a zero and he has just gone back to a zero again, highlighted again. So what we're going to do, uh, I've got my neighbors here. We're going to set that to 50 cents and I'm just going to try and get another 25 uh, in profit. So I'm going to go straight on number 22. We're covering the highlighted section. Uh, he's had a, a bunch of ones, but that's okay because it's essentially a single bet progression unless he goes higher than a depth of one. But let's see uh, what we can do. My balance was 191 something or other. So I should hopefully be able to take that over 200 on this uh, particular session. Okay, that's gone to a depth of one. So that is in the unhighlighted section. So we're going to put a big fat L there. And now we're going to do two units per number. And that's going on number two. So we're going to go one, two. And same as before, if this misses and suddenly goes to a depth of two, I will stop what I'm doing and evaluate the dealer. I normally say stop after three consecutive losses. But looking at the dealer's history out of the last 15 results hasn't gone past a depth of one. And if he does right now, there could be something up. So I will uh, obviously evaluate it. Uh, that's gone to number 17. So no, we got the win there. That's OK. So I'm going to put a W there. We're going to step across. I'm going to go back on the highlighted section, which is number 17. And we're dropping that back to one unit per number. So if you are new to this, make sure you check out the Area Key Getting Started Guide. Also linked in the description and in the pinned comment is the, um, the full dealer tracking course that teaches you how to track dealers, evaluate patterns, and the do's and don'ts in the world of roulette. So make sure you check that out. Also, there's uh, links to all the other bits, like the, uh, oh, where's that going? Yeah, oh, number 26. Yeah, we got that one. That's okay, just got that one. So that's a win there. So we're at 16 profit. So I'm gonna go straight back on number 26. And we're just doing 50 cents per number again. So yeah, this is the roulette calculator step system. And what we're doing is trying to find consistent dealers like this. Okay, look at that pattern. Lots of zeros and ones, that's what you're looking for. Or lots and lots of high numbers back to back. So make sure you check out the getting started guide to fully understand how these tools work. Okay, where's this one going? Oh, 27. We just missed that one. It didn't quite have the marbles, so we're going to put an L there. And we're going to step down and do two units per number. And we're going to place that on number 27. So we're going to go uno, dos. And see if we can get it on this one. Like I said, he hasn't gone past a depth of one out of the last 17 results. It doesn't mean he won't, but... The odds are in our favor when we find a dealer like this. He likes to hit that highlighted section and you can see that up here. Depth count 18 on the highlighted, 8 on the unhighlighted. But that doesn't mean anything unless we get the win, which we did. Number 27 back to 27. So there we go. We'll put a win there. And that's put me to 23.50. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't need to uh, go to the full 25. I've got 2350, 150 away from my target. That's absolutely fine. We've got three wins, two losses, and that has put my balance up to 214 euros. Don't forget, I've taken this up from 19 euros. This was uh, an old account that I haven't used in a long time, but I went back and saw that I had 19 euros in there and I've done a bunch of videos and climbed that balance up to 214. So I'll probably do another session and then maybe withdraw some and uh, just keep doing that. I wanna, uh, like normally I, I'll take my balance from, uh, like I did last time, 80 up to two, about two and a half grand doing this system. But I kind of want to get you guys into the habit of making regular withdrawals. And if you do that, you're always gonna be in profit. And that's typically what I do. But I do like to leave the balance in there just so you can see the continuation from my bets, if that makes sense. So yeah, keep that in mind. I uh, hope you enjoyed the session. It was a fairly quick one, pretty plain sailing. It went loss, win, win, loss, win. And that put me to the target. Only small targets, uh, but I'm obviously climbing up from a low balance. If you remember last time I started with 50 
pence uh, per number. Then I increased that to one euro, uh, one dollar, sorry. And then it was to two dollars and then three dollars. And then I made a withdrawal. So I'm going to keep this uh, low, low stakes just to uh, basically guide you on what I do, what dealers I'm looking for. And again, look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. Just uh, quick again, one zero zero one one at zero one at zero 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 one zero one zero one zero one zero, and he is back on the highlighted again. So this dealer is loving that highlighted section. So you'll see this depth count that's going to update twenty two times on the highlighted section and only eight times on the unhighlighted section. So this is the dealer, the sort of dealers that you want to be looking for. And keep in mind that it can go past a depth of one, but if you was betting from the get-go, I wasn't. I started somewhere around here or up here, I can't remember. Uh, but if I started betting early on, I would have had all of these as wins. And uh, with this, I only really need to get three wins to hit my target, so it's not, it's not difficult to do. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the session. Anyway, take care, speak to you on the next one, and as always, please bet smart. Subscribe now.